back, baby. It's season two of Verder Bremen. Retake the Bundesliga here at Total FIFA Career Mode. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. Follow us on Total FIFA CM on Twitter, Total FIFA Career Mode on Instagram, and our website, TotalFIFACareerMode.com. When last we left you, I needed your help. I wanted some interaction. I've got enough money for one big player, and we narrowed it down to Toon Coop Miners and Sander Berga. And I posted a poll on Twitter, I posted a poll on Reddit, and I asked you to leave some comments. And we got a ton of interaction, and I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled by that. And the results of all that came out to Sander Berga at 53%. Look at that, 120 votes. Guys, I can't thank you enough for that. And it was a narrow Sander Berga, but he's going to be our guy. So that's where we're going here. We've got 44, almost $45 million to work with. And that's more than enough to get him. It's enough to get another player afterwards, but not a big player. So that's where we're going to go. Sander Berger, 27 million. He's an 82 CDM. He's an 80 center back. We're going to play him at a little bit of both, but we need the defensive help. And he's really going to help solidify uh, our team. Now, after that, we've still got 18, 18, 5 to work with. But when I looked... That really isn't enough to get us a major, major upgrade. It could get us some depth, and believe me, we need some of that, but it's not going to replace any of our starters, and so for now I'm going to hold on to that money. You can see we've got a pretty light schedule going forward. Three games in August, three games in September. October fills up a little bit when the Pokal starts, but it's pretty spread out for the early parts of the Bundesliga, so... Hey, let's kick it off here. We've got Frankfurt. We're going to Frankfurt to get things started at the beginning of the Bundesliga season. Now, you remember last year we got off to a slow start. We're really trying to avoid that this season. Last year we were just trying to get mid-table this year. The expectations are a lot higher. Of course, the rest of the league has gotten better as you see the Frankfurt lineup here. And, and they made a big acquisition here with uh, Diada on the on the outside. He's a guy we were looking at, and so he's going to give us trouble today. That's a guy we wanted, but uh, we went to we went for defense. We figured we had enough offense so far. So here's how we're going to line up. We're bringing back the three, four, two, one formation that we used so much last season. We are hoping Jeremy Doku can take a step up. You know, he's really better out on the wing than in that attacking uh, attacking midfield position. So he's a little out of position in this formation. You see Sander Berga in the center back position, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna we're gonna play him up into the offense a little bit as well. So I'm uh, still trying to figure things out as you see. Oh, don't have a lot of time to figure things out. We're less than two minutes into this first match. Frankfurt on the attack, something you saw so much of last season as Max Agustin. Oh my goodness. Barely, just barely keeps this early goal uh, from crossing the line. And this is, you know, we let up a lot of goals last season. A lot of goals. Far too many for a good team. It's something we need to get better at. Uh, as you see us back on the attack here, Owen Vindal coming up the outside. He's got so much speed, but unfortunately not always a lot else. Makes a decent pass, but not able to set it up. You know, he's a guy we're really looking at. We need more out of him this year. 11th minute, Doku up to Foden with a decent rip. Foden carries the load for us so often. Uh, and it really was a, was just such a key cog. It was our MVP last season as he just, just fires high. But a good early look for our best offensive player. A few minutes later, Frankfurt back on the attack. Defense holding strong so far. Deflected by Bada Shield. Another shot deflected by Maximiano. A good save. Can't complain about him. He was great last year despite not getting a lot of help. And we're going to need him to be great again as you see the save here. The defense is just going to be so key for us moving forward. It's where we need to step up and really make some improvements. 29th minute. Oh, the little touch pass up to Doku. He beats his man. He turns and fires. He finishes. Once he gets by you, it's over. You're not going to catch him. Let's look at this again. Trincao. Oh, the little back heel. 
Are you kidding me? Francisco Trincao with a gem to a a a cutting Doku, and we take a one nothing lead, and that's what we're looking at here. Back on the attack, 39th minute. Sangare out wide gets clipped. It's gonna be a penalty. It's gonna be a penalty and a chance to go up two nothing. Phil Foden, our penalty specialist, lines it up and he drains it with authority. No questions there. He's gotten so good at taking these for this Werder Bremen squad. Yes, it helps lead to his his goal tally, but man, he's accepted the responsibility and handled it beautifully. It was a little shaky at the start last year, but look at this, just drains it home. And that's really been a weapon for us, is these, these wide men getting a step on their defender, using their pace, and drawing the penalty. And it's a little bit of a FIFA tactic. If you, if you get your man beat and you just play it through, they're going to get you almost every time. So wrapping up the end of the first half, you see Frankfurt trying to get a little something going, but you know, generally speaking, we've dominated the first half despite not having... Uh, the majority of possession, they've outpossessed us, they've outshot us, but in terms of quality, it's been a no uh, no doubt about it that we've dominated this first half. Uh, you see Trincao picked up a little boo-boo there at the sometime at the end of the first half, so Josh Sargent's going to come on. We hope that's not too serious and it's not going to be too long-lasting, but uh, Sargent has, uh, he really came on strong at the end of last year and we're hoping to get more out of him. As you see Doku on the attack again, you know, again he's really kind of playing out of position. And, and he still has these stamina issues, so he cannot last a full game. 65 at most 70 minutes is all you're going to get out of him. Uh, but it's a valuable, valuable 70 minutes. Gravenberch coming in and immediately paying dividends just a few minutes later. And he's going to be such a valuable piece for us, too. He's so talented. He, he's got some defensive skills. He can finish. And he's a guy we're really looking for a lot out of this year. Uh, really came on strong in the second half. And, and Ryan Gravenberch with just a pure finish there to, to really put the nail in the coffin for this game. And uh, it, it's a 3-0 you know, uh, you know, tally at this point as you see Frankfurt coming on at the end. The defense has played so well and, well, fuck me, that's FIFA. Of course, we're not going to get a clean sheet because, you know, why would we? I'm literally telling you how good of a defensive performance this, this is and we get a little one-timer uh, curved around, look at this, off the deflection, deflected and just without even settling, just rips a curved shot around Maximiano, it, you know, whatever, game's in hand, you're just not going to let me get a clean sheet, there's just something in the scripting that just doesn't allow it at certain times, you know, they still out possess us, they still out shoot us, but we really were in control of the game nevertheless. Doku with a solid performance, and that's a good solid 3-1 victory to start the season to really make sure we get out on the right foot and get those three points. It's so crucial to kind of get out ahead of the table a little bit. And uh, you see you're only out five days even miss a game, so that's a huge, a huge help. As we're going to get right back into it against... Uh, against Mainz, uh, and you know, we've got this spread out schedule, so everybody's healthy, everybody's got full rest, and uh, there's really no need to even slow down and, uh, and, and, and change anything up as we get going. Now, we are gonna make some uh, substitutions here, mainly because we're changing formations up, and we're going with the, the 4-3-3, which was the other kind of go-to formation that we used a lot and this allows us to get Doku out on the wing, and we're using uh, Leonardo Castro, our youth academy player, out on the other wing. It really allows them to kind of get that speed going. So, um, you know, this is one of our other go-to formations. We're going to go back and forth between the two, depending on who needs playing time and who's healthy and who has stamina once we get into the thick of the schedule. So, um, you know, you'll see us go back and forth. As you see early on, Francisco Trincao gets on the scoreboard for the first time this season. Makes a little move, gets a gets a nice pass, gets set up nicely, cut, plant, turn, fire, and Trincao, his first of what is assured to be many on the season. You see him just cut back, and the goalkeeper is a sitting duck, and Francisco Trincao gets us an early lead here in the in the early parts of this game. Uh, just as an aside, I hate that the goalkeepers have 
uniforms that have kits where you can't tell the difference, but nevertheless, we move on. A few minutes later, we turn and fire, and oh, Leonardo Castro almost able to cash in. That's a good look for the youngster. Just 18 years old, turns and fires, and just misses wide. You can always tell those Youth Academy players they got the tucked in shirts. I like to leave it just so I can see them, see who they are. A few minutes later, mine's on the attack, and you can see the defense trying to hold strong, but it's not going to hold here. Not going to hold here as Mines ties it up. And that's really, that's not a great goal to give up. Oh, deflected off of Bada Shield's knee. He did what he could to get in the way, but tie it up, and now we're back to square one. Here, as you see, Castro trying to get ahead and just brutally fouled. What is happening here? As we get a closer look, you can see him just just straight up hip checked. And it's one of those things where all FIFA's looking for, all this game knows to look for is whose foot's on the ball first. So he gets his foot in there, but it totally disregards the fact that he just checks him and knocks him over. So that's really something that needs to be looked at in the gameplay moving forward. Nevertheless, you know it won't be. The game will be exactly the same, but you know, we'll play it anyway. End of the first half, you see Mainz putting on a uh, uh, a little bit of an attack here. Nothing doing. We're going to go into halftime. We've really dominated the possession here. I mean, 60-40 is about as good as it's going to get. Um, but, you know, 1-1. One, one. All, all it took was one good shot. 13 tackles to 3. 13 tackles with no foul. I mean, standard FIFA bullshit. But, you know, why would we expect anything to change at this point? It's just the sort of thing we have to overcome. 57th minute into the second half here, trying to build an attack, up to McKinney, up ahead to Trincao, a man to beat, he beats him, he turns, deflection, Foden, and he finishes the job. The deflection off the goalkeeper and Foden without ever letting the ball settle, rips and fires. His first goal of the season from uh, active play. And look at that, just never even lets it settle. Just finishes it cleanly and gives his team a 2-1 lead in a game that's been pretty tight so far as you see Maximiano come up with a good save. In the 68th minute, here we go. Mains back on the attack. Coming out wide, Banashio out to meet him, up ahead. Trying to cut this momentum down. Oh, another good save by Maximiano. You can see once they get in the counter attack, it's almost unstoppable. And you're looking for somebody to step in, but there's Maximiano with a good save. Bailing out his defense once again. I want to see less of that this year. I need to see less of it, but so far, a little worried about it. With Doku just getting absolutely plowed, and he's going to pick up an injury here. So Noah Okafor is going to come on for his first, uh, first appearance of the season. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna stay out wide there. More of an offensive player, but um, you know, hopefully we can hold this off here at the very end. Oh, Maximiano with another great save. The defense left it wide open, wide open. But that's gonna get the job done. Credit Maximiano with a couple of great saves down the stretch. Foden with the difference maker in the 58th minute and a game that we really dominated uh, in a lot of ways although you gotta look at that 21 tackles no fouls I mean come on how does a team have 21 tackles and no fouls FIFA you have to look at this you've got to look at that that is ridiculous oh, nevertheless hey we're in third place we're tied for tied for the the lead with six points and Doku's only out five days so a lot of good news coming uh, early on and oh what is this surprise surprise Mohamed Simakan we have a bid on him for 15-7 now listen this is very interesting because while he's a starter on the back end of the defense he's a guy who I've not been overly thrilled with and you know we're at 21-5 which is you know, not quite enough to get a real impact player, but you know, if we could get another uh, 10 to 15 million in transfer dues, we could really make something happen here. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. A lot of these things fall through, as you see us start against Cologne here, but 
uh, a Simmican offer is really quite enticing. He's not starting this game just to be safe in case he gets hurt. Uh, as you see us you know, pick up here in the 11th minute up ahead to Foden. What a pass through. Oh, a good look and a good save. But what a pass through by McKinney. Finds Foden. Tough angle, but a brilliant pass through the defense. And that's why I love him. Even though he's a good center back and a good defensive uh, midfielder, I love using him on the attack. You can see the, 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 the effect Sander Berg is having on the defense there as we're holding strong. Uh, we've let up two goals in two games. That is a huge, huge improvement for us. Graven Birch up ahead on the attack and another foul. It's going to be another penalty kick. Same exact thing as the last game. Uh, I guess that's game one where you get the wide man who, who just gets a, a head of steam and they've got no choice but to foul him. And here we go, Phil Foden back to the spot. One for one on the season. Can he make it two for two? Well, not quite as much authority, but we'll take it. Third goal in three games for Phil Foden. Two of them coming from the penalty spot. We've got to convert them. It's such a high percentage of our opportunities. Phil Foden stepping up against Cologne after the, the obvious foul. Freezes the goalkeeper. I hate those. They're unrealistic. But then again, so is the ball going right down the middle when we're aiming far to the right. So we'll take it. A 1-0 lead as we enter the half. Leading in possession, uh, a more realistic tackle scenario, thank goodness. Uh, out shooting them substantially, so really we're in control of this game. We'd like to have a little bit more in terms of uh, in, in terms of uh, chances here, but but we'll take the one nothing lead. As you see, Cologne coming up ahead on the attack again, trying to hold them off. Graven Birch out wide, trying to play, and we're back to this three four two one for this game. So far, so good. You see the attack here. Ooh, good defensive play. Deflection. Turn. Fire. Another deflection. Let's get a closer look at what happened in the box here. Utter chaos. Ooh, cross in. Great defensive play by Badashil. And then another rebound shot. And you're looking at Sander Berger getting a, a shoulder in there. And just making the save himself. So a huge play by Berger in a 1-0 game. And the dividends are already paying off for our our off-season acquisition. In the 90th minute, last ditch effort for Cologne, and we're just able to get it back. Bada Shield's able to get it. And, well, the game probably shouldn't have ended there, let's face it, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. It's another victory. Three wins in three games. Nine points to speak of. That is a massive, massive improvement from last year as you see the Foden penalty kick is the difference here in this one but just a fantastic start to this season for Werder Bremen night and day from last year now we haven't faced the the the, the stiffest competition but hey wins are wins and points are points as you see here there are three undefeated teams Bayern Leipzig and the green and white and that is good company for us to be in we have established that we are an upper echelon team so long as we can win a few of these games against fellow top tier opponents but it's a great start to the season now we're getting to the end of the transfer window here and we got to see what happened with that Simican uh, offer and it looks like we may have something here are we going to get the money Oh, transfer offer from Maximiano. You can get out of here with that. But Simican, yes, sir. So for 15 million, as we as we soundly reject Maximiano, uh, but but that 15.7, 11.5 of that goes into the transfer budget. And what does that leave us to work with? That's going to give us 33, 34 million, more than enough. Even even when we kind of. Uh, you know, move the sliders here, 32 and a half million, more than enough to get an impact player, and who's that going to be? Well, we had, we gave you two choices. We said it was between Sander Berga and Toon Coop Miners. Well, why would we differentiate it at this point? 
That's the guy we're gonna go after, Coon Coop Miners. The man is back in play. You can see even though he said his value is 20 million, it's really closer to 30. But you know what, we've got the money now. This is a guy we wanted last season and couldn't afford. And then this year we, 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 you know, we, we pinpointed Berga as a guy instead. But now Coop Miners into the action. You can see kind of how the, the, the team's gonna play out. Kaseki, who missed the first three games, is back from injury. Uh, you know, Coop Miners is going to spend some time out wide. Sangare can do it if you want to play him on the back end. McKenney can move to the back. Um, McKenney can move up to the front and place a Doku when he needs a spell. Uh, we've got a lot of guys who can play that wide middle, that can play that defensive mid, they can play center back. We just have so much flexibility and this gives us so much depth. Uh, basically, we've replaced Mohamed Simakan with Toon Coop Miners, and it only cost us because because uh, Simakan made us 15 million, 11 million in, in transfer fee. It really only cost us about 19 to 20 that Coop Miners was supposed to have cost in the first place. So th this really ends up being uh, a huge upgrade for us in terms of our starting 11 and then uh, and the depth as well so just a, a great surprise that i didn't think was going to happen and we are thrilled to have tune coop miners along board with sander berga and now i feel like we are really poised to attack the bundesliga sitting in third place undefeated and stacked and ready to go that's going to do it for episode 23 of Werder Bremen Retake the Bundesliga as we get started here on year two. It's great to have you back. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit of a delay. Sorry, the real world gets in the way sometimes, but I'm thrilled to have you guys involved. I love having the survey. I love having the input, and I'm so glad to be back in action here as we really get set to kick some ass in the Bundesliga season this year. Once again, if you haven't hit subscribe for me, do so. Follow us on Twitter at TotalFIFACM, on Instagram at TotalFIFACareerMode, and check out the website TotalFIFACareerMode.com. As always, this is Werder Bremen Retake the Bundesliga, here on Total FIFA Career Mode.